the doctors on my team have completely signed it on of us you're, you know have no limits physically or anything like that but the most important team is my wife and our three young kids that have all said dad you totally behind this as well too you know because i know i know nobody thinks that you're off outside in pennsylvania to go to your next event and there was a risk you may not have come back you know you know in the kids mind so but we're still on now and we're feeling incredibly great and that's the truth as, as well so thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming out for that that's why i'm just so grateful now let's talk about this campaign right now let's talk about this campaign for all of you i'm sure we're under aware of the fact that at the primary we won all 67 <coughs> counties in pennsylvania for the first <laughs> which I think, it's, I think it's ever happened before. And out of those 67 counties, 65 of those counties, we ran by a 50% margin or higher. And the only other two, and we're, I can't see them right now wearing the hat, but Delco was at 49%, <laughs> and Philadelphia, I think it was like 38 or 39 points, you know? So it's so critical because we've had these incredible margin, margins, excuse me, up in the 80s percent in some of these counties. And let's talk about Dr. Oz, <laughs> if I have to, you know. <laughs> Dr. Oz, in his primary, I think I wanted to point out that in his primary, out of 25 out of 54 of the red counties in Pennsylvania, we got more votes in our primary than Dr. Oz got <laughs> in 25 out of the 54 <laughs> counties. Think about that. Think about this. For, you know, do you think Elk County is a very red county? <laughs> like an 80% for Trump kind of a county. I have d twice more votes in our primary than Dr. Oz pulled, okay? Great. Let's think of another county. Erie County. Maybe, have you, any of you seen the pictures uh, from our rally in Erie? Yeah, exactly. 1,500 yeah. friends, yeah. 1,500 friends came out to this wow. event. But in Erie County during that primary, we got 23,500 votes. Do you know how many votes Dr. Oz got in his primary? 7,500. Oh, wow. 7,500, you know? And I've also believed, and I think it's absolutely true, that you cannot win Pennsylvania if you can't win Erie. It's just a fact. When in 2020, when I was kind of like a surrogate for uh, President, well, at that point, v Vice President Biden, I would tell the national media, tell me one single fact, who wins Erie? That means that means who wins Pennsylvania, and that's the next president of the country. Of, uh, and that's exactly true. But then other counties as well, too. Lackawanna County, for example. Three times more votes than Dr. Oz. And that's how I want people to understand how we're going to be able to win when it's still an incredibly difficult environment for Democrats right now. There's a lot of other issues in terms of the, in, the environment right now, too. And as a result, we have run a really smart campaign, the same campaign. My message, I stood in this same deck, only it was a lot, it was a lot hot and, and, and soupy. It was soupy that night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so soupy last night. Oh my goodness. But, but I was saying the same message then as well. I said the same thing. I said, who here in this crowd is a Joe Manchin Democrat? Anyone? Because they didn't have any in that event, you know, a year ago. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong if you're a, a, a Manch Democrat. But if you're a Manchin Democrat, if I make it to D.C., I promise you I will let you down. <laughs> because I'm going to vote immediately to eliminate the filibuster yeah. yes. Yes. and to step up and stand with making sure these important laws and priorities are enacted, enacted. Right now, what's even heartbreaking, whose world really kind of got rocked when Roe v. Wade fell? I know it's certainly me. Can you imagine, too, do you really realize that the Democratic Party right now has the power right now to codify it into law tomorrow? Yeah. They could all bring everything into session, and you could codify Roe v. Wade like that if our Democrats would stand together. Yeah, right. That's yeah. a fact, yeah. and yet we won't. 
I don't understand it. I really don't. But if I was in that situation, or if I am in that situation, if I'm ever in the position to be that 51st vote, that's me. Yeah. So that's me. Yeah. My promise to you is if you have chose to support our campaign financially, but even more importantly, to vote for me, you can trust your vote in me because you will never get uh, an alert on your phone or in the newspaper if I'm in the Senate saying, wait a minute, Fetterman doesn't really care about Roe v. Wade? <laughs> or John doesn't believe that seven twenty-five an hour isn't a horrendous minimum wage? We could just leave it alone? It's never going to happen. If, God forbid, if they try to come for, say, marriage uh, equality, I will never, ever, ever you know, not stand for that as well. So much so that this month, this month, nine years ago, I was the first and really the only Pennsylvania official to uh, uh, to uh, have to uh, officiate the first gay marriage in Pennsylvania in 2013 when it was illegal. We cannot go back. We can never go back. And I'm the kind of Democrat that's always going to stand with those kind of critical shared values that we all have here. People talk about bipartisan, and I'm like, I would love to have bipartisan, but those are, there's so many issues that you just, there is no splitting the middle on some of these. No. You just can't. No. Some place that I always support, that I hope is bipartisan, is infrastructure. Yeah. Does anyone remember when the, the bridge in Pittsburgh uh, collapsed? Yeah. Well, here's what maybe you don't know is that that night before, I drove over that with my young son in the car. Wow. So again, different timing. So I've always realized this, that Republican dads and, Re and Democrat dads all drive over bridges. Yeah, right. Can't we just make sure that these are the kind mm -hmm. of investments we need to make in our country as right. well too? Yes. I don't, I don't, I would never pick a fight. I would never pick a fight to just get Twitter going or just because it would feel really nice to, to, to kind of start uh, wailing on them, it, it only makes sense when it's for to defend the kind of important values that we have to stand and defend here as, as that kind of a Democrat is, as well. And that's what I'm promising. And I'm so proud of the way the campaign has gone because it's been a true power, excuse me, uh, people powered campaign. Last quarter, we raised over a eleven million dollars. Good, eleven million dollars. This was this was a record in Pennsylvania in the books, the biggest quarter in the history. Good, but it was small donor army of donors that made that possible, and I'm proud to say is that I am bought and paid for by all of you. <laughs> You know how many how much money dr oz raised no a little over a million 11 million to 1 million he doesn't have a real campaign he never has it was a strange tv doctor that wrote a big check ran a bunch of commercials and only won by 900 votes 900 votes he wanted to have Donald Trump's endorsement, the brass ring, the brass ring for every Republican. And he went to his endorsement rally. Low, low, you know. <coughs> Could you imagine at this event if half of you started to boo at me? <laughs> <laughs> or if what if half of them turned your back to me? Yeah. But that's exactly what happened at his trunk, excuse me, at his Trump endorsement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in Westmoreland County, which is right next to where we live in Allegheny County as well. So we, as a result, I'm proud to say that our polls have a 10 or more point lead right now in the race right now. So In fact, there was a bull that came out last week that actually had 17 points. 
but I don't believe that that's necessarily true. And I will never, ever, ever run this campaign just like that. We're going to run like we're down five points, down every point, and that's between now until the bitter end of this as well. Yep. And that also means my promise to you is that we're going to go to every one of Pennsylvania's 67 counties. Every last one of them. That famous quote about Pennsylvania's politics is, Pennsylvania, it's Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Alabama in the middle. <laughs> is this Alabama? There's a lot of very thoughtful people, and there's a lot of people that really want to make sure that we have the best for Pennsylvania. And engaging every last one of those is the things that we're going to fight for here as part of this as well. And we believe that we are uniquely positioned to win an eventment here that is really rough for Democrats nationally as well. So I just want every one of you to know just how that there is no sense of entitlement to this campaign. Yeah. You know? If the only thing you say at the end of this is, I'm going to vote for you, John. I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Because really, that's the most important thing. We have never been or ever will be the campaign that chases dollars. We are the campaign that is going to chase votes and hearts in all of Pennsylvania's 67 counties. And that's how we're going to win. So, and we are going to run a very clean and campaign that is just about issues and about pointing out the kind of person that I believe Pennsylvania deserves to have to represent here in the Senate. You know? Have you heard this idea? I, I think that Dr. Oz is from New Jersey. <laughs> I've heard a thing about that. Those are facts. We'll never run a nasty, we'll never run a nasty campaign that way. We never ran a nasty primary too. Our primary got a little nasty at some time, but it was never anyone, our campaign, Good. that joined in that as well. Good. So you'll never be in a position where you're ashamed of being involved in this campaign. Good. You know, we're going to have right, uh, Good. We're gonna, Good. We're gonna, we're gonna run the kind of campaign, we're gonna run the kind of campaign that, that you can be proud of. And there is, everything's transparent. You know where my health stands after having that that issue uh, nine, uh, 90 days ago. You know where I stand on the issues. If anyone was in that, that event a year ago, am I saying anything different to what I'm saying right now on this same deck a year later? No. You know what you get if yep. you send me to Washington. Pack your bags, you're going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let me just, and, and just let me tell you, my life has changed a lot since that year ago I was on the same deck. But my values haven't changed. My commitment to be a partner with Bob Casey in Washington, D.C. to step and stand for these critical values and priorities that we all Democrats, I believe, here, or maybe even Republicans or independents that are here, support in winning here in Pennsylvania. And our campaign has been built up into a campaign that is able to jam up, jam up red counties that are the only way a Republican has a chance of winning is having big margins in these red counties. But the fact of the matter is in the primaries, the fact that in many counties I've had double and three times more votes in these crucial counties, I think you should understand that we're in a very great Good position. right now. Yep. Now, between Republicans and Democrats, I think $66 million are going to be raining down between now and November, at least, outside dollars. But we will need the kind of resources to make sure that we hit back and we hit Dr. Oz with his truth and the kind of person and the kind of record that he's accrued over a career of 
being fined over $5 million for selling magical diet pills as a, as a doctor. Somebody in part of his campaign making fun of me as somebody that had a stroke where that I'm a coward or I'm hanging in my, my basement. You know, I'll never, I'll never this pedal in that really kind of... <laughs> Very pretty so, But anyway, at the end of the day, no matter what, thank you so much for coming out today on a perfect Sunday. And if any of you chooses to support this campaign financially, just know what the kind of mo mo money that you trust us is going to go exactly to a 67 county, every county, every vote kind of a pro process to make sure that we flip this suit, excuse me, this seat. Thank yeah. you very much. Everybody. Yeah.